It is not a place where you hear the details of high profile crimes or where criminals are handed down sentences, but it's important. It's probate court. Yet it's a court a lot of people might be confused about. Eric Hernandez sat down with one of Barrett County probate court judges to explain what you need to know. We touch every life in Bear County. Most people hope to never end up in court, but for some, probate court is part of life and death. You may never be sued or have family issues, but someone you know will love and die and they will also age, and the likelihood that you have a family member that ends up in this court is very high. Some of the cases heard in probate court include the approval of wills and estates, small estate affidavits, mental health commitments, elder abuse and exploitation cases, as well as guardianship of an elderly person or special needs person over 18. Guardianships is huge in the court. This is individuals that are lacking capacity. Um, you, a lot of times what we see of parents, aging parents, so people over the age of 65 that now have Alzheimer's dementia, never got a power of attorney. Or sometimes we have kids with special needs that are over the age of 18 and their parents don't need to get a guardianship over them. Probate court is not just for family. It's also helpful if you suspect a friend needs guardianship. They can file what's called a uh, court initiated 102 and that's a uh, court initiated proceeded, procedure to appoint a guardian. We're required by law to investigate those matters so they can file this form. A lot of the information you need and forms you need to fill out can be found on the probate court 2 website. It's also translated in Spanish for those who need it. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.